Welcome to the Mile High Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Daniel Knowles. Thank you for joining us. I am coming to you from an altitude of 5,280 feet, where we look forward to seeing you at Mile High, uh, June of 2022, second to fifth. And we are very grateful to have as the guest today, one of my favorite people in chiropractic. Uh, Dr. Barbara Eden, we go way back. She flew out a long time ago in the Colorado Chiropractic Wellness Alliance. She used to do philosophy nights and she was just such, such a superstar then. And she is still uh, a growing, shining superstar. And she graduated from Logan in 1997. And she is very well known for delivering more than 200 office visits a week within less than 90 days of being in practice. Um, she is just such a um, really a light joy and fun to be around and really a service to uh, the profession. She has incredible energy. I know anytime that she's on stage or anywhere that she is, I like to make sure that I am in the room. If I can be there, I'll be where she is. Um, she's had really over 20 years served as a, a confident, uh, a success coach, a trusted friend. You know, every time I see her at Sherman Lyceum or at Mile High or at other events that, that she's presented or we've co-presented at, um, she just really lights up the room and lights up people's hearts. And I always enjoy my conversations with her. So I'm really glad to have you on the podcast today, Dr. Barbara Eden. Wow. Thank you so much, Danny. And um, just endless love for you and Rochelle and a, a tremendous amount of gratitude for oh. uh, of, of, of a couple that has just always stayed steady and like never faltered and always been true to who you are and your mission. You and Rochelle are at the top. So thank you for all your contributions and friendship. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. And back at you. That's one of the reasons why we adore you. And um, I, I neglected to say that also, um, in addition to so many things that you do, that the 56 Day Boot Camp uh, is a phenomenal program that you do and so many people are thrilled with. Let's talk about getting to know you a little bit more personally, though. Many people know you're in Alaska now. A lot of people don't necessarily know your beginnings in chiropractic. How did you find your way to the chiropractic world? Yeah, that's a funny story. So, um, you know, um, in a lot of ways, I had the like perfect childhood. Um, my, I, I was raised in a Christian home on a farm in Southeastern Michigan. And from a really young age, I learned um, a, a really good work ethic. And what that really translated to was to be on the hamster wheel. And mm. it served me like probably a, you and a lot of other listeners, it served me really well. Like that spinning on the hamster wheel led right. to, um, you know, like I graduated fourth in my class from high school and I was, um, the MVP for three years running on the softball team and, and graduated from uh, with honors from Michigan state. And then in chiropractic college, um, I did a pregnancy, a marriage, a divorce, a pregnancy and a marriage all while wow in chiropractic college and then, you know, graduated, um, started practice, did extremely well in practice. And, you know, it didn't take too long in practice to learn how to justify things. And so I learned how to justify personal problems with I'll deal with it later. Um, like right now, I just, I got to make money. I got to go harder. Um, and, and going harder in business was, was quite natural. I learned that at a young age and, and spinning on that hamster wheel kind of soothed the emptiness on the inside. And, and it definitely made me feel a lot better with my story of my family just doesn't get it. They, they, they just don't get me. They don't, they don't understand that I have to always be on. I have to always be worried about my business. Um, and, and so what a lot of you don't know is that there was a lot of carnage associated with the collusion of the hamster wheel and I'll deal with it later. Mm. I, I remember, um, I remember driving home one night after picking up my kids, my parents watched my kids on occasion for me. And they were about three and five at the time. And 
it had been a long day at the office, grabbed the kids, jetted out. Something wasn't quite on my agenda because I was super important, you know? And so I screamed at my kids, um, which is what every good parent does. Right. And I remember, I remember thinking to myself, I think it'd be better if my parents raised my kids because I'm doing a really lousy job. And, and, you know, that realization you would think would cause me to stop and wake up, but it didn't on the outside. It looked like everything was great, right? I'm, I'm hitting goals, all of the things that I, I thought were really important to me. And, and I just, I kept telling myself like, I'll hit the next goal and then I'll feel happy. Right. I'll hit the next big mark and then I'll feel content. I'll hit the next big thing. And then I'll, I'll, I'll really, I'll just have that sense of satisfaction on the inside. And it, it just didn't happen because then there was the next comparison I compare myself to, right? Like, oh, well, what are Danny and Michelle doing? Oh, well, they're doing that. I got to do something bigger. I got to do something better. Right. And that was just like, right. that was the game for a big part of my life. And, and, you know, I, um, I, I I thought that was what was on offer. And so finally in 2019, um, I finally did it. I, I, I did that thing that so many of us talk about having the million dollar business in a single year, like a, a million dollars of, of revenue in a single year. And I finally did it in 2019. And I remember being on my, the phone with my coach and celebrating and, and being excited. And, and then we started looking at my numbers and like tears started welling up. And here was why. I was beating myself up because I was at 40% overhead and I could have done 35%. Mm. So I hit that goal that I thought would just make everything so wonderful and, and would create that happiness that I desperately craved. And yet there was something else I could have done better. And, and it was a reflection over that time that made me go, you know what? I re- I remember meeting this woman at actually a wealth factory leadership conference Mm -hmm. and just the way she moved around, like I was in awe and, and, and she just, she seemed so comfortable in her own skin. Uh, Like she was aware of everyone around her, but wasn't trying to prove herself to anyone. Wasn't, wasn't trying to like, there was no sense of comparison. And, and when you talk to her, she was just like present. And so I reached out to her and I was just like, Hey, Demi, like, what is it? What does it look like to work together? And, and, you know, in working together, I wanted to find my home again. I, I wanted to, um, just have that sense, that sense of ease. And the biggest thing I asked her was like, help me. Like, I don't want to have any more secrets and not that I was lying to anyone, but Uh, when, when she asked me the question of what secrets run you, it really just revealed like how fast I was going because of what I thought I was supposed to be, you know, like we're, we're all this beautiful diamond at our core. And then throughout life and experiences, we have all of this crap that's put on top of our, our diamond and, and, we can easily forget who we are. Like I always say, like, am I ideal weight 150? It's just, I have extra on top of me. So we're already there. We just have all of this other stuff. And, and I really liken it to, um, being in the ocean and, and there are times that there are rip tides, right. And really strong currents. And there'll be signs that say, be careful, be careful. And, and for a long time, I had felt like I was in this ocean called life and I could see the shore of what I really wanted, but these currents were taking me out further and further away from what, what I really wanted and what I really wanted my life to be like. And, um, you know, they, they say that when, when, when you're in that rip tide, just relax right? But so often people go faster and faster and faster and, and try to get to safety and they exhaust themselves. And I think so often life on the hamster wheel is just that 
it leads to exhaustion. It leads to burnout. It leads to um, failed relationships. It leads to um, just so much carnage. I know I've had in my own life and, and have had many conversations with, with clients. And so I just decided that was enough. Mm -hmm. I, I want, I want to live a life where I'm truly happy. And, and I thought that I had to choose one or the other. I thought ah. I had to choose success or happiness. I thought I had to choose time freedom or money. I thought I had to choose my health or business. I thought I had to choose family or success. And, and now that I understand the inside out way of doing life, you know, it's so interesting, our chiropractic philosophy, when someone really gets it and chiropractic, it totally changes their life. And this understanding of mind, thought, and consciousness of how thinking creates our reality has completely transformed everything about my life. And on the mm -hmm. outside, it looks like I'm doing it the same. But I now know that goals aren't what brings happiness because even when you hit a goal, the, the experience of happiness you create from the inside. So it no longer so happiness and peace and joy and contentment isn't a place I have to get to. It's already right here. And it just frees me up to achieve all of the things that I want to achieve without the baggage of feeling like, Oh, I can only have a certain experience of life, of happiness, of peace, of contentment. When I get there, it's already here. And it's been completely transformational. Wow. Well, first of all, I want to acknowledge you for being so um, transparent and authentic. And something that I say frequently is that authenticity tick is best delivered authentically and authenticity is, is in. Um, we've had enough of lack of being real or being inauthentic. Um, and if we're going to have more impact and more growth in our individual practices and as a profession, it's being true to who we are. And that starts with ourselves. So thank you for really exemplifying that. Um, so important. You know, and I've had that experience of the hamster wheel, believe me, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not fun. And you realize that. Um, and th then you have a day where you wake up and you say, what is it that I want my day and my life to be? Um, you said something very important about success or happiness. You actually said a bunch of important things. So let's not be. <laughs> but one of the things that the success or happiness uh, time freedom or money, like it's an either or. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you are know this. I'm, I'm a big Anthony Robbins fan, and one of the things, and 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 uh, I've had a you know a personal connection with him in in many ways. Um, one of the things that he talks about is that there's the art of success, and there's also the art of fulfillment. And that people can go for the art of success or the art of achievement, he refers to it, the art of achievement or achieve, 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 but without fulfillment, doesn't go too well. And then you can fulfill, 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 but you're not achieving anything, mm -hmm. you know, and that there's both are needed, which is really what you're saying with the success or happiness, time, freedom, or money. What are some things about being able to excel in both the achievement area and the fulfillment area that you think are important? Yeah. Um, it's, you know, like relating it back to, to chiropractic, you know, there, there are individuals who live in the world of they're just chasing around their symptoms. Right. right. And, and it's because they don't have an understanding of subluxation. They don't have an understanding of the nerve system. It's never, it's never been shown to them. It's never been demonstrated to them. And, and when they learn that everything breaks right open, but if they live in that world of symptoms, they chase this symptom, the next symptom, the next symptom, the next symptom. And, and we really do the same thing in our living because we don't understand that, that our feelings, our emotions are us feeling our thinking. Mm. We don't have random emotions. They're always linked back to what we're thinking. And we have 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. And when, when we grab a hold of 
a thought and give it space and time, it creates our thinking, which then creates our emotions. And, and typically that is the experience of life that we have. Well, just like in chiropractic, when somebody learns that there's this thing called innate intelligence, that there's this governing system in their body that is designed for wellness, is designed to keep them well, kind of like is designed for like, let's say a tree. If a tree didn't know it's supposed to lose its leaves every fall, it would feel like a failure, much like a fever, right? Like if you didn't know that a fever is a good thing, you would see it and call it bad. But when you have the understanding of what, what life is really about, what health and well-being is about, and in the same way with our thinking, when we understand that we can come from that place of mind, which is innate intelligence, is wisdom is fresh ideas and new thinking. And we can look at our, our personal thought matrix, which is our habitual thinking, our irrational thinking, our memories, our learning, our repackaged ideas, that it, instead of, of having that be our place to come from, when we come from mind and just grab hold of the stuff that benefits us from our personal thought matrix, it totally changes our experience of life. So when, you know, we often tell ourselves, oh, when, when I hit this much money, then I'll finally feel secure. Mm -hmm. well, let's say you hit that amount today. Let's say your bank account reflected whatever that was, $10 million. That feeling of security you're creating in your thinking. Right. It's not something on the outside. It's completely on the inside. So what, so what happens then is it, it just frees us up to go for life at a hundred percent, knowing that our experience is coming from the inside anyway. And, and to me, it just, it makes life playful and fun and exciting and adventurous again, instead of rigid and tolerations and, and just this control and all of that. It just it brings us back to that state of being. Oh, that's so important. And, and I have so many questions I want to ask you. Okay. That point right there, how do you feel that helps fuel success in practice? Um, be, there isn't that state baggage. Of being part. Yeah. I mean, there, there isn't baggage then like we're right. freed up to just go and serve, you know, and, and there, there are three really important habits to develop, to really know yourself. And knowing yourself and, and being successful to me go like hand in hand, right? Like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> um, and, and that is number one is do everything as if it's the most important thing in the world. If you're with your practice members, like that's the most important thing. All of the other stuff will take care of itself. When you're home with your family, be a hundred percent in when, when you're doing self-care, be a hundred percent in. Cause here's the truth. It is the most important thing because you're exchanging minutes for that thing. So be all in. It's a better way to know yourself. The second thing is to take holiday, not vacations. Like so often I'll hear from docs. I mean, just people in general that have like vacation scheduled and it looks just like home, except that they're not home. Like what, what about holiday? What about reprieve? What about just unplugging, unhooking, knowing that your business will be there when you get back? Like, it's all okay. There are very few emergencies in life. That's for sure. Um, and then the third one is to tell the truth and not like you're lying on your tax returns or anything like that, but tell the truth to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's how, how we know ourselves. And so freeing us up to be successful and just being is, is knowing that we can calm our thinking in order to hold space for other people. Mm -hmm. And we can't hold space for other people. If we're all caught up in our personal thought matrix, you know, right. it's kind of like I said the other day, it's so interesting in a relationship, like, Ben and I were sitting on the couch and so he's sitting here, I'm sitting here and I have this little bubble of thinking going on and he has a bubble of thinking going on and yet we're sharing space. And we wonder sometimes if you say something to the, your spouse or somebody else and they jump at you and we think that it's something we said, probably not. It's their personal thought matrix got interrupted or something happened in their own personal thought matrix. And so success and just being means that we just come from that state of no thought, holding space for that other person to see truth. 
Mm, mm, that's so juicy and that's so important. Um, you know, we've had an interesting world the last two years, 2020 and 2021. Um, what are some new awarenesses or insights that have the most impact through that for you or, or this past year? I'm just extreme gratitude to the Lord that I live in Alaska. <laughs> it, is, it is one of them. Like when I get to the lower 48, I just marvel that you guys can endure the chaos down there. So God bless you all. And if you live in a place like I have a, a, quite a few clients in Australia, New Zealand, and God bless you for the massive lockdowns and restrictions that you have faced and that you still go for it. Um, I'm really proud of you. Um, I, you know, I, I think these lockdowns too have, have really, um, in some ways, been not just lockdowns, but the chaos it's caused people to have to really look at what is true. True, Just right? So like, true. What is really true about health? Like five years ago, they never told you to cover your face and put gloves on and do all of these other things to be healthy. So why all of a sudden? And, and, and for me, like all of this chaos has really just shown how beautiful life is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like my husband and I, I, we take less, we take each day less for granted. Mm. Um, and, and really just remember that, you know, yesterday is, is gone. Like mm -hmm. all we have from the frame of yesterday is just that it's a frame and then it's locked up into our memory and we really make it up tomorrow. Like, this is something that's been so fascinating for me lately is, you know, I have all of these books on success and, and business and all of that. And most of them talk in some way about the future, right? Whether it's right. planning your marketing, your money or whatever. And yet nobody ever except Jesus has lived one day into the future, not even one minute. And yet how much energy, worry, and concern have we put into the future? Mm -hmm. And yet it's not, not only not guaranteed, you can't live there. Like you can live today, like this moment right now, like it's 209 right here. I can't even live 210 right now. I can only live 209. Right. And so to me, this, this pandemic has also just really revealed um, what is your true north? And what do you really stand for? Right, right. And, you know, um, if we, if we reference since you, you, you know, if you reference the Bible, how often does it say, fear not? How often does it say, do not worry? Um, over and over and over again. It, it does not productive. It doesn't help us, you know, move forward um or or live in the way that we we are destined to or promised to um one of my clients sent me an awesome devotional and i'll just toss it out here it's called jesus calling by sasha young i highly recommend it to everyone and one of the the big takeaways from it is exactly that danny where god tells us like do not fear and, and one of the things I love is I can't remember what the date is that he talks about it, but, um, but it's basically saying like, bring your petitions to me and then just start praising me for what I'm going to do. Like, you don't have to keep reminding me I'm God. Mm -hmm. And and when, you know, like, um, where scripture says, what sort of things are true, what sort of things are lovely, what sort of things are pure, what sort of things are noble. Think on these things. Like God, God is the first one that taught us to have a positive mental attitude and, and not just like change your thinking, but literally give, give up your concerns to him and just start praising. Like, thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do in my life. And thank you for how you're going to move in this way. And da, 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 da. Because when we just cons are consumed with the, the difficulty, then yeah. that's what we see because thinking creates our reality. If my thinking is that everyone is out to get me, I'm going to see evidence of that. If instead, like I right. since was a little girl, I had the the notion or the thought that everyone on the planet wants to meet me. So I'm like, yep, that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. And it's served me really well. And that's just straight. That's definitely from, from above. Right. Right. And, and it, it, if you're going to be successful, 
having that divine inspiration and trusting and um, trusting life is, is vital. Um, now you work with people in many different ways. I know you put on your own uh, boot camps. Um, I know you also have Women's Chiropractic Leadership Summit and 56 Day Boot Camp, um, and so many things. What What are some wins or, or favorite things you've ever heard that touched you the most from someone that you assisted? Um, so this goes right in line with the, the accolades. So I have a client that um, we started working together. She joined the boot camp last October. And at the time she was at like somewhere between 40 and $50,000 a month, which is super impressive, especially because she's in California. And last month, she did $115,000 in revenue, wow. which was really fantastic. Right. But here's the most fantastic thing is she also has like endless awards. And if ever there's an opportunity to say yes to leadership and, and helping others and, and, and all of the, the big things she says yes, and has endless awards for it. And so, um, if you're someone who, you're going, you're on that pathway, um, thinking that those awards are what are going to make you feel good. So I had her do this assignment and I was like, I want you to take all of them, all of like all of the, the yeses and put them in frames and put them up in your office and let everyone see just how important you are. Wow. And she was like, well, that would be embarrassing. I'm like, how come? She's like, well, I don't, I don't want them to know all of the stuff I do. Like, isn't that interesting? We, yes. we tell ourselves and we get running on that hamster wheel acting as if that is so important. And really the things that matter, it's that. And who am I with the people that I love? And like, that's the biggest breakthroughs for her. And the biggest success to report is like everything at home has been completely transformed. And it's just so exciting to get on calls with her. And she tells me about all of these experiences that she's having with her family. Um, and her practice just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing um, because who she, where she's coming from, you know, oftentimes we use our vision as a place to get to, but really our vision is a place to come from. And so I would invite anyone that has your written out vision and mission, like look at it as the place to come from, not a place to get to. Yes. And that radically changes things. And, and that goes back to the same thing we were talking about of achievement and fulfillment, right? Um, absolutely. So, man, that's just that's just beautiful and, and so important. Um, you were talking earlier, um, and and we're 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 very positive about many many different approaches and many many different techniques, and we, we're very positive about uh, supporting people that are focused on adjustment, subluxation, and delivering chiropractic care through the principle. But you also were telling me before we set up just how enthusiastic you are about upper cervical work in general. Um, is there anything about that that you'd like to share? Yeah, you know, um, and I'm just going to do a shout out to Dr. Rob Kessinger. Um, mm -hmm. I, when I was at, at Logan, we weren't allowed to talk about philosophy. Mm -hmm. And so Rob, out of the graciousness of his heart, there was a group of us that would drive from Logan to Cape, um, on, on Friday evenings, it was about two hours. He'd wow. stay up till all hours of the night and check us and adjust us and, and, and talk philosophy with us. And, um, then when I gave birth to Samson, my first child, mm -hmm. he, despite, you know, doing everything right, just had these ear infections after ear infection, after ear infection, and they would turn into these full blown, like systemic infections. And regardless of, of how he was being adjusted, it just wouldn't relent. And so finally, um, I took him, I, I took him down to, to Cape Dorado and Dr. Rob checked and adjusted. Actually big Mike did one of his associates and never had an infection after that like wow. ever. And so, um, and, and myself too, I had a anaphylactic reaction to cheese okay. and started getting adjusted knee chest and it radically changed radically changed my health and, and my son's health. And so I, I just, 
I love the beauty of upper cervical work because of the density of nerve tissue and, and importance in the upper cervical spine. And I just think it's, you know, like, like with network, you, you have to be so in tune and, and really just be so present when evaluating the upper cervical spine or, um, you know, when, when being in flow in a, in a tonal model. And so I love, I love upper cervical. Um, I think it's, I used an integrator to get that torque. Um, but I have to say, I never, I never did all of the advanced study that whether it's Blair doctors or Nuka or some of those other um, knee chest um, mm -hmm. that they have, but I've always just stood in awe of the doctors who are at that level and, and think it is just amazing. Like um, Dr. Liz Hafer did a presentation at Blair and um, use CBCT. Right. The cone. Yep, oh yep. my gosh. Like what you can see on that compared to plain film. And, and just like, I, I, I was in awe all weekend <laughs> listening to Dr. Rob actually gave a presentation as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. A absolutely. Um, and, and here's the thing it's about having in whatever approach you do, whether it be upper cervical or Gonstead or network or BGI, or you go down the list is that be clinically excellent and true to the principles and values. Your people that are coming to see you deserve that. Your, your practice members that are looking for chiropractic care do deserve your best. Um, less than that is to really sacrifice the gift that we have in, in chiropractic. Um, I know one of your gifts is helping chiropractors um, really live a life worthy of the calling that they've received. What are some the ways that are, are opportunities that people, both chiropractors and, and DCs to be have to, uh, to learn more from you? Yeah. Um, I, can I, we go back just a little bit to the clinical excellence? Yeah, please. I, I also just want to invite docs and students to reflect on no, like, and trust you. Ah, right. That, um, I, I see often that docs hide behind their clinical excellence or how many letters they have to, after their name and almost like, Hey, because I've done all this training, my community is almost like obligated to come and see me. Uh, um, and, and that's not true. Right. I agree. <laughs> um, I, I think that our clinical excellence and in, in that personal thought matrix sometimes can get in the way. Like if, if we take, um, ego, plus our intellect that gives us chaos, mm -hmm. right? Ego plus all of the stuff that we've learned often gives chaos. When we come from that state, that being, that knowing, and, and by knowing I'm talking about wisdom, like for instance, how many times have you heard someone say, oh, I just, I just got to get some self-confidence. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I wish I had more self-confidence. I, I want to let you all know you have it in full measure. You've had it since you were born. There's, there's nothing that you need to do to grow your self-confidence. I didn't have this understanding until now I, I'm doing this work of mind, thought, consciousness, but it's already there. It just got covered with your personal thought matrix and it's okay. You just haven't been shown another way, but, or, or just like, um, I, I, we need to teach people to love themselves. No, we don't. It's already there. You're already there. Right. It's just being covered with with lies that you've been fed and that you've believed that just aren't true. So, so going back to how to get in touch with me, um, lots of ways. I mean, you can go to my website, drbarbaraeaton.com, check out doing private coaching with me. You can check out, um, the 56 day carbonic bootcamp to double your business. I have done, I've done almost 800 one-on-one -on -one calls now, Danny, since April of 2017. No way. Yep. That's amazing. Yep. One-on-one -on -one calls with, with chiropractors and students. Um, because in order to join the boot camp, you have to have a, a phone call with me. Like, I want to get to know you. I want to make sure that we're a fit. I want, I want to have the confidence, um, in, in our, in our partnership that it's going to give you the results that you're looking for. And sometimes that is the case. And, and I invite them into membership. If not, I direct them somewhere else. Um, just for that snapshot, we may just not be a great fit. So the, you can go to 56 day forward slash 
discovery call. Um, that is how to find out more about the boot camp. If you're interested in, in private coaching, reach out to me, um, drb at barbaraeaton.com and we'll get to know each other. I'll send you a more in-depth questionnaire about private coaching and we'll see if, if that is the right solution for you. I have a couple of live events coming up at Sherman College in February. We're doing our pediatric boot camp again, which is super fun. Um, you know, I think boot camp events are where like learning and the best slumber party ever collide. And we just have a really great time. We're renting two boot camp houses again on the lake. And um, we stay up way too late and talk and have fun and giggle and have all kinds of inside jokes. Um, and then my ultimate marketing boot camp is in Nashville, April 7th through the 9th. That's a really intimate um exclusive event to for doctors to really hone in on their personal story and their unique selling proposition so that it runs as a consistent thread in all of your business and your marketing and your messaging and and how you go about your business so that there's this this foundation of connection with you and your community right oh that's so important and uh, um Tell me how people can learn more about that. Uh huh. So just um, for where the where ultimate, they or where they go, or how they sign up for the ultimate marketing boot camp. Yes. Um, that link is a little bit longer, and it's fifty six day Cairo boot camp. And then I think it's UMB. Just one second. Um, the best thing to do is just to email me, drb at barbaraeaton.com. Okay. And I'll send you what you're looking for. If it's like, hey, Barb, I heard you on the Mile High podcast. I want to know more about the boot camp. I'll send you the right link. If it's um, you want to know more about the PEDS boot camp of other upcoming events that we have going on, I answer my email. So I will get back in touch with you. If it's a weekend, I'm out playing. It's snow machine season. Um, but I will for sure get back with you on Monday. <laughs> Got it. Got it. And, you know, if, if there is email the best way or is there anything that you have that you'd like to share with them that they can uh, grab for you while, when, while after they finish listening to this or watching it? Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something free to get started in, in knowing how I you know, like do business you can get my endless referrals cheat sheet. It's absolutely free. I'll teach you how to have like the best referral system as possible. That's 56 day Cairo bootcamp.com forward slash referrals, like plural. Um, mm -hmm. You can also just to be able to jump on a call with me and, and get to know each other. That is the same route. 56 day Cairo bootcamp.com forward slash discovery call. That's awesome. And I got to tell you, I did your referral. I don't know if you know this, I did one of your referral boot camps way back in the day, and um, I I use so much from that still. I mean, maybe a decade, fifteen years later in our practice, um, it's it's gold. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for doing it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And and really, it, the vital thing is that it's about how many lives you can impact. Um, we all know the situation in the world is less than favorable, favorable where it's perspective relative to health and well-being. And we have, we have, I always say we have the cookies, you know, and, and to not share them is a real loss. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for being so generous with so many people and, and helping them. Hey, it's, you know, it's December right now. Where is the next place people can get connect with you live? Yep. Um, February 24th through the 26th at Sherman College of Chiropractic for our PEDS boot camp. We have, we've applied for 14 CEs. Um, there, there's a whole mixture. Even if you don't focus on pediatrics, you'll still benefit. Um, Dr. Jesse Janorski is going to be discussing pelvic health, uh, pelvic floor health. Um, Dr. Sarah Perry is coming and talking about like, how do you build your multidisciplinary team? I will be doing some extensive teaching and, and discussion on how do we continue to earn money and still maintain our, our time and our high quality of life. Then we've got pediatric adjusting. We've got pregnancy. Um, Dr. Monica Berger will be there um, doing all of her stuff on neurology and, and Monica's portion this year, I've asked her to really speak on 
like the nerve systems of these babies that were conceived during this whole thing. Oh, wow. Are not like they're, they're nothing that we've seen before in her, you know, decades of experience. She's like, it's, it's crazy. And so she's going to be bringing us like, what, what do we do? What do we do when this stuff is all brand new and we haven't seen it before? Um, so it's going to be just a, an amazing time. We're in the Gillardi Center. We have lots of fun things planned. Um, so grab your ticket. There's early bird. It's just three ninety seven for our early bird before the end of the year. And then obviously you pay a little bit more for CEs. If you are coming, grab the VIP. I promise you'll be so glad. And then one other thing that we're doing this year that we haven't done before is on Wednesday before. So that's the 23rd um, at the boot camp lake house. I'm doing a mixer where oh, nice. students are invited to come and practicing doctors and we're going to put them together. So doctors who are looking for an independent contractor or an associate or a, a, a preceptor will get to know and get to meet students who are looking for the same. Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent. Thank you so much. And thank you always for being, we have that in common, how much we love Sherman College. So thank you so much for being a supporter of Sherman, you know, a, a, as well. And, and thank you for helping so many chiropractors impact more lives for the better. We know that uh, the world needs us. There's no shortage of spines dist distorted by any means. So, um, uh, but there is uh, more, 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 more chiropractors in need and more of them to focus on, on, on the real deal uh, with chiropractic and, and changing spines, lives and minds. So I, I'm really appreciative of all of that you are giving. And um, thank you for taking the time to, to be with us today. Is there any last thing you'd like to share? I'm just excited to see you all at Mile High in June. So please make sure you come and get some love and learning and 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 really just um, a new perspective on on life and all that's available for us. Like every single dream that we have is is more than possible. It's like so close. We just sometimes can't see it. And and I think being in the community at Mile High makes a huge difference. I really appreciate you saying that. And you were just such a light at Mile High in 2020 when we had you there. It was, and it was a lot of darkness going on in the world at that time. So it was, it was such, you were such a gift to people, um, at, you know, as you are always. And I wouldn't expect less. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for the Mile High podcast. And we look forward to seeing people in June. And hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any Mile High tick. Keep changing spines, lives, and uh, spines, lives, and minds with chiropractic. And we look forward to seeing you on higher ground, www.milehighchiro.org. Thank you again, Dr. Barbara Eden.